Hey everyone, Corbin here, and I want to show you how to take a color image and create a cool vector so that you can actually go ahead and print it on a vinyl cutter. And let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to do is open our image up in Photoshop. And this is a picture of me on my tandem unicycle. What we want to do first on the image is get rid of a lot of the detail that's not important so we can create a cool silhouette from it. So I'm going to make a new adjustment layer for the brightness contrast. And if I go and up the brightness and up the contrast, this is going to eliminate a lot of the detail in the image that's kind of unimportant. So I'm just going to max it up really high. And there we go. So the brightness contrast. And now let's go ahead and use the magic wand. I'm going to hit a W to select the magic wand. And let's just delete more of the background that's not important. So I have the background layer selected and I can just start selecting and deleting or filling however you want to do it. If you want to delete, you need to double click on the background layer and make it actually be a, a proper layer. So then I can select and start deleting. I find it a little bit easier to have a have a layer behind our image that's a fill of solid white to do stuff like this. So now I can go back to my image and I can just start selecting things. Your tolerance, eh, about 30, will, will help make it easier to select uh, massive areas that are just, just not important. And I'm just selecting it on the image and deleting it. And the goal here is to not, like, just to not have a lot of detail that doesn't matter. You can tweak the tolerance. Another trick that I will do is I will do a select by color and delete that too. So let's do that. So I'm going to do a select color range. And if I select some color that I want to actually go ahead and select. And then, oops, I inverted it. I can delete more extra areas that are less important. So we can do it again, select color range. And I want to select this range right here. And I invert it, delete, a couple of deletes to get rid of stuff. So now we have a basic image manipulated in Photoshop. I can save it and we can just drag and drop it over into a new document in Illustrator. So at this point, the steps are the same as what I talked about in our last image, or sorry, our last video. And we're going to select the image and go ahead and rasterize it. I'm going to go through this pretty fast because I already talked about the details of it. And now we can start doing an image trace by just going ahead and hitting preview or trace. And that gave us this cool black and white silhouette image. At this point, we could do the rest of the steps, which is to unlink the image and export it. So I could select the image, I expand it, and I'm going to undo a little bit and talk about some more details. One thing that's actually really handy to select in the image trace is to ignore white. and if you ignore white, that's not going to create a lot of extra paths, and it's a lot better for cutting on a vinyl. So now I'm going to go ahead and expand the image, and I could ungroup it like before, and I could do any cleanup that I need to do in Illustrator, delete extra junk that's kind of like not important, that shouldn't have been there. But it's looking pretty good. So we can export it. And like I talked about in my last video, we want to export as a DXF. 
And so we can do tandem new cycle with DXF. And that's it. Once it exports a DXF, we can open it up in the Silhouette software and cut it on vinyl. Have fun.